Hey guys, uh, Tank here. Uh, tried to make this video yesterday, but I think I was would have been way too keyed up to get through it. Uh, as we all know, uh, yesterday we lost just like, the cornerstone of our fandom, Mr. Stan Lee. And uh, I can't even begin to express uh, the amount of joy uh, things that man helped create brought to my life and so many others. And I knew we were going to be talking about this sooner than later, but it still didn't make uh, hearing the news uh, any more easier. As long as I can remember, uh, the things he helped create have been a huge part of my life. Uh, I can remember getting up uh, early to go to school and uh, every day watching the 68 uh, Spider-Man cartoons and uh, you know it was just a staple of my everyday life and that's where I you know I fell in love with superheroes uh, I can remember getting a bunch of Amigo action figures and I had the Spider-Man that had he actually had a fabric uh, costume and just the mace the mask was a uh, plastic and uh, I wore that thing out I mean the costume was stained and everything else after from all the adventures I had with it you know with all the other Amigos I had uh, and from there, I just, uh, my dad would bring me home, the Amazing Spider-Man, the Spectacular Spider-Man, all, all the different versions of the Spider-Man comics that were around in the 70s. And just uh, fall in love with him and uh, Iron Man and the Hulk. Uh, oh, all the creations. Uh, one of my biggest regrets in life is when I was in college, uh, being a dumb young college guy, I sold my comic book collection uh, for some concert tickets. Can't even remember who I went to see. That's the sad part. And uh, yeah, I've always regretted that because. I mean, there was a big piece of my childhood and all those comics. And, you know, as I, as I grow, got older, the next thing I remembered was uh, the Incredible Hulk TV series and seeing, you know, Lou Ferrigno and Bill Bigsby bring that to life. And that was just, you know, every week I couldn't wait for it to come on. And I watched it religiously. I just loved it as a kid. And I can remember, you know, there was a period of time where you know, I got more into music than I was into anything else. You know, being a singer for 33 plus years so I uh, you know I got out of it for a while I was paying a lot of attention to that but I still can remember uh, when the first Spider-Man movie was announced it came out I was just like thrilled I was like oh my man we're finally going to get to see an awesome Spider-Man movie and uh, you know then when it came out it was just huge and yeah, they you know, Toby McGuire, they all knocked it out of the park. 
uh, with the first movie, and it was, you know, some decent effects, you know, compared to, you know, nowadays it's not quite as good, but it still was for, for the time, you know, just had me in awe, because I love the characters, you know, you know Spider-Man and Iron Man were always my favorites, and I always, uh, related to Iron Man, and he always helped me out, because, uh, my dad had some battles with alcoholism, and, you know, of course we all know Tony Stark's, you know, party boy ways, and I think it always uh, helped show me that you could not only, you could have some kind of issue, and so much of Stan's work was like that, you could have some kind of issue, but still go on and, uh, be a difference maker and make me you know, make a big difference in other people's lives and and the world around you by your actions. You know, and then I and I look at everything that's come about. You know, in recent years, you know, the MCU just has been incredible to be alive right now and be part of seeing all that and. Uh, All the different toys and action figures, and just everything that's out now that you can get that's you know has the Marvel brand on it, and you know has to do with stuff that Stan created. You know, and he always wanted to send a message in his work. You know that you know you know. You can really make a difference. Everybody can make a difference. And he tackled real world issues and and, and how they affected society. And I, I just think, you know, the, the word legend is just thrown around so loosely anymore. But man, you know, he is without doubt a legend. And it's going to be really truly missed by me and so millions of other people. Um, but yeah, it was real, real, hit me like a ton of bricks when I heard the news yesterday. I just made my uh, Walk of Dead review video in the car waiting for my son. I was, it hit Facebook. I'm seeing one friend put one line, you know, Rest in peace, Stanley. Thank you. And I was like, oh man, it happened. So, you know, it's just another one of those things that no matter where you are, what you're doing, you know, go spend some time with the people you love and love them a little bit more. And especially if they're older. Uh, I'd lost my parents in the past uh, six or seven years in that time span. And, you know, miss them every day. Not a day goes by. I don't wish I could talk to them. So, yeah, man, you know, take care of those people and cherish them and cherish their experience and knowledge and be there for them because. They can add so much insight to your life. Uh, but I'm, I'll definitely uh, going to remember this day yesterday. You know, there was one of them situations where, like, where were you when you know, the space shuttle blew up or the president got shot or whatever. Uh, it's one of them situations where you know, I'll, I'll remember this the rest of my life. And I think it'll definitely have a lasting effect on our community. But possibly in a lot of good ways too, because I think it may possibly help us to cherish all these wonderful uh, creations even more. Uh, so yeah, man. All I can just simply say is uh, from the bottom of my heart, you know, thank you, Stanley. Uh, peace be with you and your your family members and uh, and during this time 
and uh, you know thank you for everything you did to bring joy to my life and so many others in this world you know little things can touch a life and he did a lot of big things that touched mine and so many other people so always remember his work and remember how you feel right now on uh, you know, with it just happening remember these feelings because it'll help you to grow and love and respect others. So Stan Lee, man, you really did prove that one person can make a difference because you sure made a difference in my life and a lot of other people's lives. Thank you so much. May you have a, a peaceful sleep. And you guys just take care out there and just let's just acknowledge his work and remember it and celebrate it because it truly is worth celebrating. Brett Tank Downey, peace out. Have a good one.